Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It feels really weird to not say Muggles and Mocha, but I guess this technically isn't Muggles and Mocha. It's just a fun little video uh, where we're gonna talk about some fun Harry Potter stuff. And I'm gonna dive into this book that I featured on um, a video. I'll plug that in up here. And this is a book that I received for Christmas that until I, just passed by it in a store about a month or so ago and then got it for Christmas. I did not know that it existed, but it is amazing. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, some of the cool features that come with it. Uh, that might sound weird because to you, it just looks like a book, but y'all, this is a pop-up book, so. <laughs> I'll also talk a little bit about the price, where you can find it if you're interested in beefing up your Harry Potter collection. So as you might've noticed, this book is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and it is designed by Mina Lima. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I, like I said, I hadn't heard of this uh, before seeing it in stores, but you can actually get it uh, at a couple of local stores that you probably have in the area, Walmart, Target, Kroger has it, um, but you can also get it off of Amazon for about $20. So it is not that expensive. And actually, when I was looking up this book on the internet, I found that you can also pre-order the second one. Um, it's selling on Amazon right now for $30, and it comes out in October of 2021. So it looks like this is something that I'm just gonna have to start investing in again. Uh, I say again, because I don't know if you've seen these. I might talk about them a little bit in this video as well. Uh, I think this could just be a fun little Harry Potter show and tell. Um, as we look at some of the cool collectible things you can get uh, from the Harry Potter series. But this is a series that's been coming out for a while. Um, it is an illustrated edition by Jim K. And right now, four are currently out and available. And I'll show you those today as well. And we can just bond over nerdy things. If you've never seen one of my videos before, hello, I'm Madison. And I run a book club called Muggles and Mocha that is connected to my website madisonkdarby.com. Uh, I love to nerd out over Harry Potter, even after all this time. <laughs> you can find my social media handles on my website if you'd like to follow us and just bond over the happier things in life, aka Harry Potter. So like I said, I received this book for Christmas and I just thought that I'd walk you through some of the cool pictures that are in here. It sounds really nerdy when I say it out loud, but along with this book, I thought that I might also just show you a couple of the fun little collectible books that I've gotten over the years um, that have to do with Harry Potter. So follow us along as we have a little show and tell Harry Potter time. <laughs> You're gonna have to bear with me because this book is hard to lift, but uh, it does have like some nice artwork on its own. All of the pages are just so decorative. I mean, look at this. Celebrating the defeat of Lord Voldemort. And so you have illustrations like that throughout the book, but then you also have these really clever pop-ups. This, for instance, is one of my favorites and it's Albus Dumbledore's watch. So once you open it up, it has like the watch hands and the planets and you can like spin it around. I mean, guys, of course I like this for me. It is for me, but I do dream about the day when I do have kids that <laughs> I can read Harry Potter to um, and this will probably be making an appearance. Another one that I basically screamed at when I saw it uh, was this. We have the little hut on the rock and a letter for Harry that folds out like this. It's the whole letter. So you get the letter from Professor McGonagall here. And on the other side, you get like Harry's school list. So actually, I think this might be my favorite one in the book. Then probably one that I feel like will be a favorite of many people who get this book is Hogwarts itself, which may seem pretty unassuming at first, but it does fold out as well. And I, I just had a really good time looking at all of the rooms here. Like you have where they're, they uh, study divination up in Professor Trelawney's tower. You have the Great Hall, of course, is pretty easy to pick out. And just, I mean, the detail of this book is just so cool. We've got some Quidditch action here. 
Then we have the chess match, which I mean, look! I mean, I just, again, I'm wondering why, or maybe it did. Maybe I'm just half my, I'm just living under a rock. I didn't hear anything about this uh, when it was coming out or see anyone talk about this, but it, it made my day. <laughs> Lastly, there is this really neat picture. You might not be able to tell, but this is the back of Coral's head. And if you unwrap, you can kind of see a little bit of Voldemort underneath. I won't show you too much more, so I don't give away the whole book, but those are just some of my favorite pictures that are in here. And like I said, you can get this for $20 on Amazon. This is not an ad. I just think it is a amazing collectible if um, that's something that you're interested in. And since we're here, I thought that I'd also show you a little bit of the other illustrated works that I have. They actually come out with these every year, illustrated by Jim Kay. And up until this book came out, y'all, this is the book that I was planning on reading to my children. Hopefully they like Harry Potter because they're probably gonna hear it. It's just another illustrated edition um, that does have some very, very beautiful artwork in it. Uh, there's a little Hermione. We have Hagrid's cabin here. And like I said, there are four out so far. Um, I believe that Order of the Phoenix is supposed to be coming out at the end of this year. Usually there's only a year in between the release of each book, uh, but because um, Order of the Phoenix is such a challenge and such a long book, um, they gave it two years before they released that one. And I expect that'll be the case with the next two, just because even though they're shorter than Order of the Phoenix, they still do have like a lot uh, of content in them as far as things that could be illustrated. So you, uh, if that's something you're interested in, uh, keep up with the schedule. I'll let y'all know if I get the fifth one when it comes out. But for now, this is is Sorcerer's Stone. We have Chamber of Secrets. And just for reference, they're like about this big. This is how big they are compared to my head. <laughs> then there's Prisoner of Azkaban. And then you have Goblet of Fire, which is especially heavy and is a bit thicker than the rest because Goblet of Fire, I believe is the second longest book. Um, yeah, I think that the longest is Order of the Phoenix and then the next longest is Goblet of Fire. So obviously this one is huge. And I mean the art in these books, I can't say it enough. Look at this. This is Voldemort's face. <laughs> like, good grief. These are something else that's just been a really fun thing to collect over the years as they have come out. And I am so ready to get the whole set. Then there's this monstrosity. It is huge, 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 oh gosh. I just whacked myself in the head with it. <laughs> As you can see, it's called The Art of Harry Potter. It is all about the artwork of the series as well as like inspiration for costumes and the set for the movies. Uh, and it is very interesting. They have like a section on characters and even magical creatures. Like here's Tonks with a duck bill. Maybe the weirdest picture I could have shown from this, but you know, they just have a wide variety of things. This is the back of the book. It's just very pretty. And if it's something, you know, you're sitting in your living room, it can be on your coffee table for <laughs> your guests to look at. This is like the perfect book for that. The last things I wanted to show today is something I think I might have shown on a video before, but we're gonna talk about them here too because they're just lovely. And I haven't looked at them in a while, but uh, they're fun. Uh, and that is Obliviate which is the forgotten scenes from Harry Potter, scenes from the books that didn't make it into the movies. And um, it's art that's produced by a person named Katie Knudsen. You may have heard of her. I think that there was a BuzzFeed article about her like back in the day uh, because she would create these scenes that didn't make it into the movies and post it like on her Instagram and fans were just going crazy about it. Uh, so she turned them into books and so far there are two of them that are out. I'll link her Instagram and her store below. Um, in her artwork, uh, the way the characters look are her interpretations, so they don't look exactly like they do in the movie, or maybe not how you expect, but I think that that's just so cool because, you know, the way these characters look can be interpreted in different ways, and I just love seeing her perspective on them. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is she shows uh, where Harry asks Luna to go to um, Slughorn's party. Uh, and he even has a yellow eyebrow where he accidentally 
um, turned it yellow. And I mean, just look at her face. Like, it, it's fun. It, it's some very fun art. And actually, two of my favorite scenes that she has made uh, actually haven't been in a book yet. Uh, I hope that she'll come out with another one soon. But it is the scene in the fifth book, which, as y'all know now, is my favorite book, um, where Harry, like, trashes Dumbledore's office. Uh, after Sirius dies and has like one of his first really, really big breakdowns, probably his biggest breakdown, I think. Uh, and she illustrated that and it's just so, oh, it's so meaningful. It looks so good. And the second one is also a fight. I promise I don't just like fights. I just, I, I just love how the emotion comes through in her work. Um, and it is the fight between Lupin and Harry when Lupin wants to join up with the trio on their journey to defeat Voldemort and leave Tonks and his kid at home. Because, you know, he's struggling with a lot of guilt uh, at even having a kid in the first place. I, I just, I can't even imagine uh, what Lupin is feeling there. And then Harry, uh, who experienced, you know, not having parents at all is understandably upset. You just get a lot of complex emotions from two different people um, who aren't seeing eye to eye. And I think she just does a really good job at illustrating that. So I have talked about that enough. Um, I will link her Instagram below and also her Etsy shop, which is where I got these, if that's something you want to look into because they're just fun to sit down with. And especially these are scenes, like I said, that didn't make it into the movies. Like you got Spew in there. You have Harry's kiss with Jenny um, at the Weasley house, the way it actually happened. Ah, I don't know, it's, it's nice. So these are some of my favorite things that I have by Katie Knudsen. You know, my Alicia Trunfield girl, she needs to come out with a book like that. I would buy every single one because I love her stuff. Like I've mentioned, she does a lot of Marauder themed work. So I think that's all I have for today. I have a couple of more things I could pull out, you know, like there's the Tales of Beetle, Beetle the Bard. Uh, there's a book just on creatures. I don't know. There's amazing things out there to find. Um, and feel free to comment below if there's something that you have that is, you know, like, Harry Potter collectible material as far as books go, let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear about them and possibly buy them and research them. So just plug those in below. We'll have some more Muggles and Mocha articles coming out soon as we go through Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I have it right here. So if you're interested in joining a Harry Potter book club, pop on over there. I have a couple of playlists that are devoted to the first and second books, which we've already covered. And we're now in the middle of the third. Yeah, until next time. I'll see you guys later. Bye!